to save the class time. You know. for, for the example of this video, concavity of log and the concavity of entropy, sufficient statistics. Maybe let's take a look at this one. And uh, there is a tip uh, to enjoy watching this video. I recorded this uh, uh, very late night in order to find the time so that uh, you know noise is down. So I, I got very sleepy. <laughs> so I, I talk very slowly, right? Because uh, it's very late in the night. So I recommend you to uh, use uh, <laughs> 1080 the uh, font, uh, the the video quality, so that you can see the lecture clearly. Okay, and then also uh, because I talk too slowly, so I recommend you to. Oh, uh, there is a chamak as well, and uh, use 1.5. Then it's like a normal speed. <laughs> okay, so take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, just just for a short amount of time. Concavity of log. Oh, 이게 소리가 안 들리나? 소리가 안 나나? 아, 소리가 안 나네. Anyway, there is a you know English caption appearing because it's a YouTube, right? Um, and uh, I, I think the uh, the quality of the you know audio is uh, you know, good enough to understand the material. So if I had to do this over the uh, board, I, have, I, I need uh, more than two, uh, two boards right, in order to prove. So it's uh, very time consuming and uh, you know, it's, it's much better to use uh, this type of video for two complex derivations, like uh, showing the proofs. Okay? So I want you to make use of that. And uh, how many of you have uh, uh, used this one? One, only one? Two, thank you, three. You didn't see? I asked you guys to see this before coming to class today, right? Because I don't want to do this whole thing all over again on the board, right? So have you? Uh, not this one. Not this one, but you have taken a look. Other other parts, yeah. right, okay. So you know how to utilize it. Eh? Yeah. All right. So, a anyone who who have a difficulty having access to this, raise your hand. Let me know if there is any problem. Otherwise, you would like to utilize it, right? Anyone who's uh, objecting using uh, previous video lectures. For some reason, Opcio? Okay. Oh, Tawako. All right. So um, this one is uh, the objective of our, uh, you know, proof. I mean, we we want to prove this um, statement for non-negative sequence of uh, A's and B's. And this number is greater than or equal to that number. So basically, sum of numbers and uh, product log and uh, a number or a ratio. So both are number, right? With equality if and only if AI over BI constant. And uh, since this is um, concavity, Sum of numbers is greater than a single number. Basically, a number. So this one, this line doesn't have much meaning. Okay. And uh, in order to show this, uh, one thing that we should notice is uh, utilizing this function, right? T log t. F t is a t log t. So if you want to uh, show uh, this uh, inequality, use, use this fu uh, function, so f t is a t log t, and then do the 
you know, first and the second derivative, and then you can show that that is positive every, everywhere, right? A at least uh, the space that we are interested in, which is uh, from zero to infinity. And then after that, then basically you can form this because it's a convex function. Average of function is greater than or equal to function of average. And then you substitute these ratios and then you will achieve the uh, proof, right? You, you can conclude that this statement is correct. And uh, since uh, this function is strictly convex, equality is achieved if and only if AI over BI is constant over the argument I, right? So that's the uh, concavity of log part, right? And then I hope you guys have taken a look at that. And uh, uh, let's see. I have two. I have brought this one right here. Last time I forgot to bring it. And I sent you a note this uh, morning. This one and that one. And All right. First off, let's take uh, care of this one grading. We have found a team, uh, formed a team uh, Wednesday last week. So I asked you to type up the best homework solution within two days after the due date, which was a due uh, Friday, Jihoon and Jio, right? Where is Jio? So did you guys uh, type up the best homework solution for us? Not yet. Yeah, so, so it is past the due, right? So please do it by today. Is it OK? OK. Jio? Yeah. OK. Jihoon, you are the leader, right? Ask him to do it, OK? And uh, uh, have the best homework solution posted in our Kakao Talk room so everyone can approve it, right? I, including me, okay? So everything fine, nothing, uh, no mistake. So go ahead and do the grading for us, right? And then you do the marking, right? You know, this is a suggested scale, let's say scale of four. If a person hasn't done a uh, homework problem, then it's uh, zero. And uh, if has it has uh, done but lots of mistake, then 0.3, and so on and so on, right? And then uh, with the excellent uh, one point. And then for each homework set, you know, set the total score to be 10, and then and uh, leave the marked homework back at my doorstep. ECS building C, 204, so that I can take a look. Everything looks fine. I bring it here and this read back to you, okay? Good, cool, all right. Or maybe I can distribute uh, you know, the whole package into the talk room, maybe. Anyway, maybe talk room, distribute into talk room may not be good because it's a private, because uh, there's some graded uh, mark, right? So. Uh, and then uh, send me the assigned grade, and uh, basically here are the team. First one, team leader Jung Hyun, Lee Ji Second team, 
박성우, 정민석, and so on. I throw this into the talk room as well this morning. And the homework raise, just mark, the, mark for each person, including yourself, right? Uh, so all, all 16 of them. And then... Uh, 뭐, 전자식으로. 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 You can use whatever that you would like to do. Graduate school here, right? <웃음> 근데 여기다 그냥 직접 해도 되고 이 파일에다가 숫자 1, 0뭐 <웃음> 여기다 유기원이 응? 유기원 학생이 뭐 8점을 받았다 그러면 A out of 10 이렇게 써주면 돼. 기분 나쁘지 유기원 학생. 10점 받았다고 해 줄게. 10점. <웃음> 이렇게 이렇게 해 주면 되잖아. 그지 음. 그렇게만 해 주세요. 예. 예? 그 평점이 10점이 아닐 수도 있지 않아요? 그거는 어, 10점에 맞추어서 스케일링 해 주면 되지. 아, 그렇게. 음. 가령 총 7문제 일곱 문제였어. 근데 문제당 1점이었으니까 엑셀런트가 1점이었다고 해서 <웃음> If you have seven problems the, and then the, each problem the total uh, maximum score is one, right? Then the, it is going to be seven, right? Then give me the percentage, right? Six out of seven is a percentage, right? Then I can use it, okay? I <웃음> 소수 점 두째짜리만 합시다. <웃음> 두째 짜리 소수점 두째 짜리 됐죠? 그 네. 위에, 위에 6번 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 아내 네. 밖에 저기 박스가 있어요 신문 넣어두는 박스 거기다 놔둘게요 그거는 어려울까? 마크, 마크 해가지고 전자식으로 그냥 보낼까? 카톡으로? 나한테? 뭐 그렇게 해도 되지. 카톡으로 보냅시다, 그럼. 도어 스텝, 이거 뭐 지금 뭐 코로나도 다 겪었는데. <웃음> 원격 수업도 다 해봤는데 뭐 이렇게 할 필요 없지. 그지? 그러면 도어 스텝 하지 맙시다. 그냥 전자식으로 내 카톡 아이디 알죠, 이제? 그러면 나한테만 보내주세요. 전체로 보내지 말고 그건. <웃음> 그건 까먹으면 안 돼. 응. 응. 예, 그러면 내가 어, 그렇게 받아가지고 예, 뭐 이상이 없다 그러면 어, 그걸 뭐각 학생한테 디스트리뷰트 해주는 건 내가 할게요. 오케이? All right. 혹은 내가 하든지 요청을 하든지 할게요. 오케이. 자 됐고 그 다음에 어, for today I have given you two uh, notes for your study. Yeah, I have shown two things. One, one, one is this one. I will talk about this a little bit uh, today. And uh, sufficient statistic, I will talk about this a little bit. And then I was in the middle of doing this. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So we talked about mutual information last time. Mutual information is non negative. Okay. Control editonga. Okay. Uh, and then that's obvious. We have, since we have proven that uh, relative entropy is non negative. Okay. And uh, Mutual information is nothing but relative entropy between joint and product distribution. So should be non-negative because there's a 
relative distance between two distributions, okay? So you apply that, then you get this statement. Mutual information is non-negative. And then using, using the straightforward derivation, basically we have shown that mutual information is hx minus hx given y. Okay, or h of y minus h of y given x. And then in Eng pure English, uh, mutual information is you know, knowing one random variable, how much it can tell about the other random variable. That's what it is about. So it is uh, similar to correlation that we talked about in undergraduate classes, okay? correlation. And uh, mutual information, one more. Basically here is, I have given you some uh, inf uh, examples and the relationship. And then since the mutual information is non-negative, and that can be written as h of x minus h of x given y, that should be greater than or equal to zero. Then moving this to the other side, h of x minus h of x given y, then we have this, and uh, inequality goes this way. Because if you move this to the other side, this right-hand side becomes mutual information. Left-hand side becomes zero, right? So mutual information is non-negative. So that statement is exactly the same as conditioning is smaller than or equal to unconditioned entropy. Right? So conditioning reduces entropy, we can say that, right? shortly. And then equality is achieved if and only if x and y independent. Okay? <clears throat> we have proved all these. And chain rule, um, basically h of x1, x2, x3 jointly can be written this way, h1, h2, uh, x2 given x1, h of x3 given x1 and x2, and so on. And uh, conditional mutual information, the same thing. Here, uh, what you have to be careful is that this expectation is the joint distribution of x and y and z all together. And uh, this one then it becomes a random variable, right? All right. Um, chain rule for information, then basically mutual information between x1, x2, x3 whole thing and y. So that's the notation, right? The x on the bar, let's say you can say that is a vector, right? x on the bar and y, right? And then that can be written as eight I uh, mutual information between x1 and y, x2 and y given x1, x3 and y given x1 and x2, okay? All right, so that's that. Can we, can we, can we do this as well? Can I say this as well? Mutual information is I, x2, and y plus I, x3, and y given x2, right? Plus I, x3, given uh, n y given x1 and x2. Can I say that? <coughs> yes, right? Because, or, or I can do this uh, with uh, x3 first as well, right? So x3 and y, right? x2 and y, x3, plus uh, x1 and y given x1 and x3. I can do that, right? Doesn't matter, right? All right, now concavity of log. Uh, I have shown you the video. The trick here is that you use the ft, which is a convex function, strictly convex function. And then you can show that by taking the second derivative, and then it is 1 over t, and uh, it is uh, positive over the domain of this uh, uh, function. Then, after you have proven this, 
then you can use Jensen's equal uh, Jensen's inequality of uh, applying FT. Okay, and then aha, uh -huh, Jensen's inequality for convex function is uh, average of function greater than or equal to function of average. Okay, then all you have to do is aha, uh -huh, what is alpha i and what is t of i? So basically, alpha i has to be a distribution. So it has to be summed up to, be, uh, to 1. And t of i, because of uh, this one, should be uh, greater than 0. OK? And then all we have to do is do the substitution. So alpha, let alpha i equal to bi over sum of bi. And ti becomes ai over bi. And then you apply this to that one. Jensen's inequality, then you will achieve this. Okay. All right, so for example of uh, alpha i here, bi over uh, sum of bi, how do I get this one? How do I get this part? Divide ai by bi, then I make ti, right? But uh, since I have uh, divided by bi, I have to multiply bi, right? So bi, ai over bi, it became. And then I need uh, this part. So divide both sides by sum of bi. Divide both sides by sum of pi. Aha, then this becomes, this uh, part becomes alpha i times uh, a, uh, ai over bi, which is ti right here, and log ti. So that, this part has been achieved. And then do the same with uh, the, uh, the other part. Oh, Mogitaji, Takamani. Okay. Um, then the, right here, you have a sum of uh, bi, and then basically. Uh, applying this uh, uh, the substitution rule, uh, I mean the supposition. Uh, basically, you can uh, obtain this part as well. So uh, you have proven this, and uh, this one uh, is uh, useful later on to prove that uh, relative entropy. Uh, uh, P and Q is convex in the pair. So this uh, language is very complex. So let's break it down, right? So let's take a look at the log, uh, concave, concave table log, log sum inequality. So this one is uh, uh, sum of Sequence of, uh, so this looks something like a relative entropy, right? If this was a distribu AI was a distribution, this exactly is a relative entropy, right? Between uh, distribution AI and BI, right? If it, they were distributions, right? But here, it, they don't need to be distribution. Here, they are just a sequence of non-negative numbers. That's the all, only requirement, right? Sequence of uh, non-negative numbers, AIs and BIs are, right? And then I got something very similar to um, relative entropy statement, right? Mm -hmm. All right, ha having remembered that, now we want to apply that to this one. This one is uh, very important. Uh, because uh, this will be used uh, in uh, showing the convexity of uh, mutual information and the concavity of log, uh, concavity of uh, entropy, and so on. So let's take a look at this, right? Um, now, uh, in order to apply this, I need to understand the language here first, right? What do we mean by D, P, to uh, and Q convex. So what are the you know, things that we have to show? 
in order to show convex what we need to do. Uh, do. So I have to think about something com convex, right? Oh. I have to remember this picture, right? Average of function is right here, right? And function of average right here. So function of average of function, sorry, right? So alpha i, right? Average of function, right? Uh, is greater than or equal to function of So I, sh I should use something else, right? Some, or xi. I have to do something like that, right? Average function, function of average. OK? Uh, now I want to show, so, so this is the case when f is a convex function, right? f was this one, right? Now, now I need to show what is the notation? P and Q, okay? P and Q. So what I'm actually saying is vector P, vector Q, because they are distribution, right? Right? So I want to show this behaves something like that, right? Okay? Then on this side, I have to have an average of relative entropy, right? Average of relative. So I, I need to have something like alpha i and uh, some argument, right, with respect to i, right? So here I will replace this as a function. Function. This function has argument, right? What is that argument? Two vectors, right? Two vectors as an argument, right? So, something like that, right? I can, I can say it. something like that. And on this side, I have to do the averaging, right? Of these guys, okay? So that's what we are doing here, okay? That's what we are doing. So what is the argument? Two vectors, okay? And then what is the function? The relative entropy. Okay? So what does the relative entropy do with this input? We have defined it, right? We are doing this, right? That is what this function is doing, right? Take these two input, calculating the number, a single number. Okay, that's what this function is doing. Okay, so in this function there are two arguments. Okay, now I I need to prove that uh, this one is convex, right? So I will use uh, uh, this notation, right? Average of relative entropy, right? And relative entropy of average distribution. Okay, so in this part I can say lambda times p. I mean. D, P1, PQ, uh, Q1, plus 1 minus lambda, but uh, here I'm just using 0.5, okay? Okay, just an example, okay? Uh, and then D, uh, PQ, and Q2, okay? That's average of relative entropies or average of function, okay? Average of function. So I call it equation number one, this top part. And then relative entropy of average distribution. Now, function of average part. So I, need, I just need to do the average part, right? So average of these two distributions. So average of first distribution, P1. Average of second distribution, Q2. I mean, Q, Q1 and Q2, OK? So that's, that, that is it. I can generalize this by right? lambda P1 plus 1 minus lambda times P2. I can generalize it for a, any lambda, right? And then here, lambda times Q1 plus 1 minus lambda times Q2. I can generalize it, right? 
even though I'm simplifying here, where the lambda is equal to 0.5, right? All right, so average of, average of relative entropies is given right here, okay? All right? Okay? And then two prime, which is this one, written right here. Okay? So that's what applying this, right? Is uh, P1 log P1 over Q1. That's this part. Okay? And then second part is P2 log P P2 over Q2. That's the sec second part. And then multiply it by 0 0.5, right? Because of uh, 0.5 right here, all right? But it doesn't matter, so it, uh, I, I will ignore it. And then two prime basically is about relative entropy between this distribution and that distribution. So I can call it average P1 and P, P2, average Q1 and Q2. So there are Relative entropy between the two distributions. So right here, right here, right here. Okay. This is a function of average part. Okay. Since uh, we have a proven log sum inequality in previous page, right? One prime, right, is greater than or equal to two prime, which is this one. Okay. So based on the log sum inequality. Now. Summating uh, the one prime and two prime, so basically both sides with uh, respect to x, then summa summing all over x, then it becomes uh, rel relative entropy. Okay? Then we have one greater than y equal to two. Okay? That's uh, basically it to prove that D, P, and Q is convex, okay? Because we have shown that, okay? We have shown basically this, right? Right? So that's that. Now we have something, uh, one more information that uh, relative entropy is non-negative. We have proven in previous lecture. Now we also know that relative entropy is convex function of P and Q, okay? What do we mean by over P and Q? P and Q as an input, okay? All right, so we now understand this language now. So D, P, and Q is convex in the pair P, Q, okay? So that's what language means, okay? All right, then uh, we can, we have shown this previously, uh, entropy of P is uh, log of size of the alphabet minus relative entropy between P and U, right? Since we have proven that relative entropy in the pair P and U is convex, minus relative entropy is concave in the pair P and U, we can say that, right? So this is a concave in the pair P and Q. So entropy P is concave function of P and Q. P and U, sorry. In, in here, U uh, is a uniform distribution, P and U. So we have done all the proof. All right, then entropy is a concave function of P, okay? All right, that's that. And uh, <coughs> Now this one is another approach. So once you have a proven a statement, we can simplify that statement like this type of um, uh, simplified version, okay? So h of p is a concave function of a distribution px. We will prove this again, but using random variable definition, okay? So simplified one. So it's just like doing a game, right? So this means if you mix distributions, the entropy increases, okay? 
All right, so how do you mix uh, two distribution? P lambda x, which is I, I'm going to uh, notify as a mixed dis distribution, is equal to lambda px, lambda p1x plus 1 minus lambda p2x. Okay, so this is the average of p1 and p2, right? All right, so in order to obtain such uh, effect, I'm going to uh, define x1, which uh, has a p1 as a, its a distribution. I'm going to define x2 to be uh, its distribution, p2x, okay? So x1, p1x, x2, p2x. The, they are the distributions for x1 and x2. Okay, and then I'm going to let this uh, one and two be the parameter, and then I can define a separate random variable which is data, and then I'm going to let data equal to one with the probability lambda, and then data equal to two with the probability one minus lambda. I can do that, right? And then I'm going to define random variable z to be x data, okay? Right. Then uh, z is equal to x data with uh, uh, probability lambda, and uh, z, equals, uh, z, z equals to x2 with the probability 1 minus lambda, okay? Perfectly defined. And then the distribution of z is lambda p1 plus 1 minus lambda p2. That's the way we want it, okay? Now I want to uh, find out the mutual information between random variables z and theta, okay? I want to define mutual inf information between z and theta, okay? Then uh, mutual information is non-negative. And then from that, we can say that h of z minus h of z given theta is greater than or equal to zero. And then we know that conditioning re reduces entropy, which is uh, entropy of z should be greater than or equal to entropy of z given theta. Then we have proved the statement that h of p is a concave function of the distribution. Why? Because this one, right, h of z, is, uh, can be written as h of average distribution. And uh, h of z given theta, by the definition of entropy, you can break it down into two uh, summation, basic summation of two terms, where theta is equal to one and theta is equal to two, right? And then probability multiply that to it. We have done the homework, right? So um, what is the first part? Let's say P, uh, the, the, the theta is equal to one with the probability lambda. So we have this lambda times h p one x. And then this occasion occurs with the probability one minus lambda times h of p2, okay? That's it. So that's the uh, proof for this statement. Aha, uh -huh. because of this, entropy is a concave function of a distribution, okay? All right, so I want you guys to do this. Just don't just listen to me, right? If you just listen to me, I only practice this, right? You have to do it by yourself, like from the scratch. You have to listen through why each line is so, right? One line by line. Otherwise, uh, you know, you cannot understand. So uh, in this part of the research, uh, if you slow down yourself, you go faster, okay? If you slow down yourself, you go faster, okay? 
Uh, yeah, so, that, so uh, basically, up to now, you know, if you, if you uh, I mean, uh, up to let's say second or third year of college, college, basically speed was the important thing. But um, in graduate school, basically speed doesn't matter, right? Because you are given like a five or six years doing PhD. But what we want you to do is originality, not the copy of someone else's work, okay? Not the copy of what uh, internet is telling you, okay? You want to produce your own knowledge. This is the only way you can produce your own knowledge because you can prove that your previous statements are all correct. You can self-assure yourself so that you can push toward the unknown area, right? frontier of knowledge. So that you can prove lemmas and theorems, and then you collect all of them. You can produce another results and so on. You don't have to worry about what you have proved in the past was right or wrong, because you have, in the process, you have proved them already. Okay? So this is the only way. So you, you, you need to learn to slow down okay, in graduate school. That way you can go faster than others, right? Others will jump back and forth, right? Following what others have done. But uh, you can produce your original result this way, okay? So slow down, so learning to slow down in this class. And the uh, capacity of uh, mutual information over Px given uh, Py given x. So here is our language as well. Okay, so I want to show in this uh, you know, statement, I want to show that mutual information between x and y is concave over a single variable, which is px. Right? Mutual information in general is function of what? Two things, right? joint distribution and product distribution. But in this particular uh, statement, it says what? Py given x is given to you. So there is a table of numbers for all possible x's and y's. This was given to you. 